Hi. Now in the first part of this question then, we're given that uh, if y equals x squared times the square root of 5x minus 1, we've got to find the value of dy by dx when x is 2. Now to do this, first of all, what I want to do is change this square root here to a power. So we can rewrite this as y equals x squared times 5x minus 1 all to the power half. If it was the cube root of x, it would be to the power third and so on. So basically we've got therefore y equals x squared times 5x minus 1 to the half. Now to find dy by dx for something like this, what we've got is a product of two functions. Two functions of x. So what we've got to do is use the product rule. So I'll just remind you if you're unfamiliar with that and uh, you can find some tutorials on my website if you just look under differentiation the product rule. But briefly if you've got two functions of x being multiplied together u and v say it can be shown that dy by dx equals one of the functions, let's say u, times the differential of the other function with respect to x, that would be dv dx, plus, then you just do it the opposite way around. You take the other function of x, v say, and multiply it by the differential of u with respect to x. So that's the product rule, and you'll generally find that in most formula books. So, using this we've got u is the x squared, and v is the 5x minus 1 to the half. So in order to do this then we take u x squared and put it in brackets as well. Always a good idea when you're doing things like this. You take one part x squared and you times it by the differential of the other part. Now to differentiate 5x minus 1 to the half you've got to use the chain rule and with practice you should be able to do this in your head. I'm going to do it straight off, okay? But I'll show you at the end how you can, or how I was basically thinking of this, okay? We think of this though as t to the half, and we differentiate t to the half, and you would get half t to the power minus a half. But t is the 5x minus 1, so you put 5x minus 1 in here and that would be to the power minus a half. And then you have to times it by the differential of what you called t. So we called the 5x minus 1t, so times it by the differential of that and you get 5. As I say, I'll show you, I'll, you know, I'll break this down very slowly for you at the end of the tutorial if you've got problems with that. So one part times the differential of the other part, and then it's plus and we've got to do v du dx. So that would be 5x minus 1 to the power half times the differential of x squared, which is going to be 2x. So put that there in brackets. What I would do now is just tidy these two terms up. And if we tidy the first term up, we're going to have 5 times x squared and this is multiplied by 1 over 5x minus 1 to the half. Remember, anything to the negative power is 1 over that uh, value to the power half here. So it'll be 1 over 5x minus 1 to the half times a 2. So that comes together as 2 over 5x minus 1 to the half. And for this term, this will be 2x times 5x minus 1 to the half. It's best to put that 2x at the front. Now, all we need to do is find out the value of dy by dx when x is 2. So when x is 2, we therefore have the value of dy by dx is going to equal, well, we're going to have 5 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 5 times 4 is 20. And that's going to be divided by, well, if we put x is 2 in here, we get 5 times 2 is 10, take away 1 is 9, and 9 to the power half, or the square root of 9 is 3, so we have 2 times 3, which is 6. 26. Put 2 into here, and you've got, again, you've got the square root of 9, which is 3, and you've got 2 times 2, because x is 2, 2 twos are 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so we've got plus 12. 26 plus 12. 
do that on a calculator say or in your head and you get 46 over 3 okay so there's your value that's the answer but I did promise you that I would Cos show you how to differentiate 5x minus the quadrant method if you weren't too familiar with how I did it here it's done by the chain rule so just to remind you what the chain rule is we'll just put that there basically if you want to find dy by dx it's dy by d something times the same d something by dx and the d somethings that I'm going to use here are going to be dt's it's as if they cancel out leaving you with just dy over dx now what we've got is to differentiate say y equals 5x minus 1 to the half let's just put this down here 5x minus 1 to the half so I can say that this is the same as y equals t to the half where the t is essentially 5x minus 1 so now if we want to find dy by dx dy by dx would be the differential of dy by dt so if y equals t to the half differentiating y equaling t to the half is going to give me half t to the minus a half but t is 5x minus 1 so I'm just going to write 5x minus 1 and that will be to the power minus a half okay just run through that again if y equals t to the half dy by dt would be a half t to the minus a half so that's a half t t being the 5x minus 1 to the minus half so that's dy by dt now we need to times it by dt dx times it by the differential of what I nominated t to be so if I differentiate 5x minus 1 with respect to x I'm just going to get 5 so hopefully you can see now how I got this result here by the chain rule okay well that brings us to the end of this part of the question